So let's see what's going on. So you've got a letter, and this is about news coming in, and this is about something uh, to do with money. There might be a new offer that comes in. You've got that king of pentacles over there, so some kind of new offer. Maybe it's a position um, of authority. It's some kind of management position, and it's definitely something that is going to generate a lot more finances with you because you've got that king of diamonds there. You've got the ten of hearts as well, so this is about the ending of a very, very difficult situation. So whatever this news is that, come in, that comes in for you is going to to be, um, you know, um, something that uh, helps you get through this very difficult situation that you've going that you've been going through. So uh, you've got the Ten of Hearts over here, which is the Ten of Cups. So having gone through a lot of problems and a lot of issues, it looks like there's some relief that is coming in for you. And there's definitely that job coming in there. You've got that Five of Diamonds over there. So you've been feeling very, very uh, poverty-stricken. Very, There's been a feeling of lack going on over there, financial loss that have, you have been going through. But there's this job offer coming in there with that anchor. So you're getting news about that. And this is a job that is definitely going to be paying off um, for you there. Now, in the past, it looks like you were uh, in some kind of leadership position over there. Um, it seems like there might have been some problems uh, that you were dealing with, or maybe, maybe there was somebody around you that was giving you a lot of grief uh, within this particular job that you have been doing. Um, you've got the Five of cup, uh, Cups or the Five of Hearts over there that is showing that you've been very upset about what is going on. Uh, maybe you've ended up losing that job, or maybe the job that you're in at the moment has been causing you a lot of uh, distress. So you've been very upset, very miserable, very depressed about what has been going on within that work situation. And maybe this is the reason why you have uh, applied for a new job. Now, with this king, uh, this jack of um, spades over here, it looks like you may have even lost that job. It was some kind of leadership position over there. You may have lost that job, and you might have been going now for a new position. So, going into the future, you will be working very, very independently there with that um, Queen of Spades. So she's the person who has lost everything, uh, but now you know has uh, very, very much uh, experienced uh, a lot of uh, loss, a lot of heartbreak, uh, but is now determined to get going. Um, and maybe this is about new, signing new contracts as well. So you're very, very heartbroken about what had happened in the past, and you're getting over that, and you're now taking uh, the power back in your hand again. You still have a lot of difficulties and problems that you're dealing with. You've got that seven of clubs over there. This is about sorting through difficulties and problems, maybe sorting through a, a lot of issues where people are criticizing you as well. So you're still going through a lot of difficult problems, but there, it looks like there is some good news coming in that's going to be a relief from very, very difficult times over there. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the Wheel of the Year Tarot for the main read. Okay, so you've got the Four of Wands over here, and this is about um, this is about a celebration, really. So there's some good news that is coming in over here. It looks like your uh, whatever new job that comes in, um, this might be signing new contracts. Um, there's a lot of celebration that comes in, and it's going to allow you to put down some kind of roots. You might be living in some kind of temporary accommodation at this particular moment, but whatever comes in, whatever news comes in, is going to be a cause for celebration over there. You've been going through a lot of problems. Uh, you know, you've got that Seven of Swords over there, so. Um, Maybe you've ended up losing your job um, because of what people had been saying, and maybe somebody sabotaged you, uh, and this is the reason why you're in this particular predicament now. But, uh, you know, living in some kind of temporary accommodation, and it looks like whatever news is coming in now uh, will be something that is much more stable, uh, will give you some kind of uh, relief from whatever situation you've been going through. Now, uh, what's happening with you? Um, you've got the five of wands over here. So whatever job you're going for is very di difficult in the sense that there's the job offer that comes in there. You've got that Knight of Cups uh, job offer being presented to you, but there's a lot of stiff competition. So uh, it's a very competitive field that you're trying to break into, and uh, you know, you're going to have to uh, pull out all the stops and present something to these people uh, that shows that you have got something above the rest of the crowd. So you're going to have to put in a lot of energy and effort into presenting yourself as being something that is ex somebody that is exceptional and somebody that is... Um, 
you know, worth employing. So you're going to have to work at it a little bit uh, in order for you to get it. So it might not be as easy as you would think to get this particular job. Uh, just be careful um, about how you present yourself. Uh, this job might, uh, you know, mean that you're going to need further training as well coming in over there. So in the past, you've got the Two of Pentacles. You're having a little bit of problems with money there, trying to juggle your finances over there. There might also have been two job offers that you're considering, but with the card that follows it is the Four of Pentacles. So you are juggling finances, and maybe it's eating into your savings as well. So you're using up your savings at this particular moment to deal with this situation. And, you know, it seems like wherever you are, it's a bit temporary right now. So you're uh, maybe in a, in a period of transition at the moment. Uh, what you're looking for is a new job. You've got the Ace of Pentacles on your mind. You're focusing on that coin, but you're also looking for a new job there, it seems. Um, you're carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities. Um, it seems like those difficulties that you're going through is about to end now with that Ten of Wands, that cycle coming to an end. The road is opening up for you over there, but it looks like you know, you're going to have to put in some effort to get this particular job because there is a lot of competition for this particular job at the moment. You're at a standstill with that hanged man over there, so waiting for things to happen. Uh, feeling really isolated as well and feeling a bit confused, uh, feeling as though everything is upside down really in your life right now. Now you will be able to move away from things, so things will start sorting itself out, some communication coming in over there and that's going to allow you to move on. You might need to actually relocate to do a job somewhere else, so maybe not staying where you are at the moment but going and looking for a job somewhere else rather than staying put. So you might have to move. Um, it might even be an overseas move that you need to do. You're hoping for money to come in over there, and you're hoping for that financial independence to come in with that Nine of Pentacles. So that's in your hopes and fears. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Star card over there, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So the Star card is about having a new vision. You need to ha think differently, uh, think outside the box. Uh, you know, you are crying a lot about what had happened, but you need to also ask for some divine guidance to come in to give you some assistance. Uh, and, uh, you know, keep your eyes open for any kind of signs that come in as well. So if something is going to be coming in for you. There is some kind of luck coming in. You can see this rain coming in from the sky. Um, so it looks like there is some kind of um, you know, divine message or there will be some kind of guidance, uh, some kind of advice that comes in for you that allows you to make a decision. You will have to make a decision as well. You've got that queen of swords. There's some kind of obstacle in your pathway over there. Uh, you're going to have to overcome that. Speak very clearly. Be very determined. Uh, and and um, communicate, uh, you know, with these people uh, very, very clearly. So make sure that whatever you're writing out in your CV, uh, you know, is got a lot of worth. So you might need to get some kind of practical advice as to how to uh, put yourself forward, how to um, present yourself as somebody that is exceptional. So you, it looks like you do need to get some kind of advice. You've been through a lot as well with that Queen of Swords and you're feeling very, very, uh, maybe a bit despondent, maybe a bit unsupported right now. There is a need for you to, uh, there's a new clarity coming in for you, an end of an old cycle over there, but it looks like there's a breakthrough moment that comes in for you there with that uh, Ace of Swords. So this is about maybe signing new contracts as well. So maybe that is going to be coming in for you there. There's going to be a lot of challenges. There might be some uh, research that you need to do. There's some owls sitting on that uh, sword over there. So speak with authority, but also have the knowledge to back it up. Uh, and uh, it looks like there are breakthrough moments coming in for you over there. So uh, a need for you to cut out that past, maybe even move on to something else. Um, this is the thing that is going to allow you to uh, get this job that you want. So you can see with that um, swords cards over there, this is about maybe cutting ties with the past, moving forward, um, but also uh, this new, you know, it's a breakthrough that comes in. Something comes in unexpectedly. Uh, despite all the challenges you're going through, you're going to be able to overcome this because you have the Ace of Swords power back in your hand and make sure that you are communicating very, very clearly. So it's all about the communication. You are facing a lot of challenge uh, and it's about uh, presenting yourself as being exceptional in what you do. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot and the first card is the Sun card. So plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. The Sun card is about overcoming obstacles and it looks like, you know, this will happen. Whatever job you start now, you are going to have to work pretty hard at it 
and you know it's going to require maybe late hours as well but you will be able to get success that comes in with that card you've got the queen of summer over here so listen to your heart intuitive insights that you can trust uh, and taking care of others so with the queen of summer still feeling a little down a little depressed feeling a bit unsupported as well uh, you need to let go of all those negative emotions and start being a little more positive in how you're dealing with things the three of summer is news worth celebrating announcements such as weddings graduations or births so with the uh, three of summer it looks like there is something that is coming in for you over there there is that breakthrough with that ace of swords um, you know you just have to stay determined with that queen of swords and this might be about new signing new contracts be very hopeful be very positive and how you present yourself is the most important thing so research everything that you do before you go for any kind of interview so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share and subscribe if it hasn't thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye